Okay, so this is going to be my review of Pinnacle Studio HD or Pinnacle Studio 14. Now, this is the default software that comes with the Dazzle, Dazzle DVC 100 or the Dazzle Capture Card or the uh, Dazzle Video Creator HD. Now, let's get started. Now, first off, before I start this video, this is going to be a separate video from the Dazzle's actual software review. Like, I'm going to review the Dazzle part of this later. But for right now, we're just going to review the inner workings of uh, Pinnacle. So, here we go. Now, first off, when you start this, it's got a pretty easy-to-use file system, and it's it's a pretty much user-friendly interface. So, for example, if you're trying to find something, you'll be able to find it if you know what you're doing. Like, if I'm trying to find my logo, you just go to Desktop, you go to Video and then you go to your video folder and there it is and importing is easy like you just drag and drop like you normally would with Windows Movie Maker or Sony Vegas now that's the thing I think what Pentacle was aiming for was beginner to intermediate uh, users because I know for a fact Sony Vegas requires intermediate to about advanced u users because it it looks Vegas looks bland it's it can it can get complicated if you don't know what you're doing you can screw a bunch of things up but with Pentacle it's a really good user friendly interface plus with uh, titles and uh, text kind of like this like this this is the uh, I don't know how to put this but this is you can pretty much call this the word art of uh, Pentacle you see there's various templates of how you can how you can make text, titles, and a bunch of other stuff. Like, they gave you templates on any type of style that you could possibly imagine. Like, for example, here, this is what I would usually use for a Dragon Ball Z type of video, but sadly, I don't use this anymore because it, for a number of reasons, which I'll get to in a minute. Or if it's a tribute video, here's a love type of text. Or if it's something complete, like patriotic, here's some red and white and blue text. You can do pretty much anything. And how you edit the titles is pretty cool, too. Sorry about that, I don't know what just happened. Um, editing the titles is pretty good as well. It also gives you a bunch of templates here from... Uh, these are pretty. These are kind of Photoshoppy, if you know what I mean. Like uh, they've got backdrops, they've got shadows, they've got overlays, and a bunch of other stuff like that. You can crop. You can. You can resize the text to be anything you want. And actually, the uh, the actual text. The I don't know what that was, but or, huh? I don't know what the hell that is. Alright, let's see, get that out of there. Like, for example, if I did this, drag to drop it, yes, it says put your text here. All you have to do is right click, go to title slash menu editor. And then it's pretty much kind of like Word art. All you do is erase the entire thing. Well, that top part won't erase for some silly reason, but you just basically like erase it, like so, if it will. And then you can pretty much put anything like Xana or BTS or blah. It all matches and it all works out in the end. Then you can put various other stuff in here too, like all this junk, which I can't do at the moment. Let's see. Uh, eh. Well, that failed, but who cares? Let's see. What else do I need to review? Um. Well, let's see. I guess this is this is like uh, something for background music. Like this thing must. I haven't gotten into the background music or the audio editing part of this really easy. I just mainly use this for uh, capturing video from my capture card and then editing it very slightly. I found the editing to be really simple and easy to use. All you pretty much do is like uh, drag it and drop it and crop it and do whatever. And rearranging it was pretty easy too. Like for example, go to import, import my logo twice. You can rearrange them to be anything you want. Like when I said that they aimed this for people to for like Windows Movie Maker and stuff like that. I mean it because 
if you break it down, it's it almost seems like it's Windows Movie Maker itself, except just a little bit more advanced. Let's see, there's not much else I can show you that's interesting to the average YouTube user, but how you save the files is pretty awesome too. Like Pinnacle has the creator in mind. Like they have our minds inside of this. So like th there's only two file formats. I think there's MP4, but I'm not so sure. Here's uh, Windows, and then here's QuickTime. I mainly use Windows, but I don't use this program anymore because a it takes way too long. B I can't get the quality to get to get too right. So I switch. I use a combination of Pinnacle and Vegas. Actually, let's see. After the next video I make, which would be my Dazzle Part Two review, or yeah, once I ah. After this video, I'm going to make a review of the Dazzle part of Pentacle and the Dazzle itself. And I'll show you some of the quality settings I tried using but failed with. Alright, so it gives you a lot of settings here. Like, here is the 1080i 720p. I've tried both of these, the 1080i's, but the, the quality is just crappy. I don't know, but the one, if you really want to aim for... Well, the, yes, there is custom, but if you want something quick quick and default, here's Microsoft Xbox 360, and the quality is amazing. Like, one, 19 by 20 by, and then 1920 by 1080, that's pretty much YouTube standard right there. And then, let's see, for QuickTime, if you click on that, let's see, let's see, where is it? Ah, here's the other file formats. You got a bunch of them. MP4, I'm pretty sure, is another one people like to use. Let's see, 1080p. Well, in short, it's got a bunch of quality settings. It's got a bunch of file types you can save in. It's pretty good for the average YouTuber if you if you choose to buy it separately from Dazzle. So, so far, I give this, this, this part of the software a 7 out of 10. And here's the reasons why it, it's missing three part three points. Number one, it it takes almost a ridiculous amount of time to save uh, a file, even if it's like coming from a camera or a uh, capture card. It just takes a ridiculous amount of time. I mean, I've saved in be I've saved in better quality 1080p on uh, Sony Vegas, which is a uh, WMV file, but it just, this just takes the cake when it takes way too long. Number two, I can never the, the quality you can never get right if it's if it's for uh, d if it's for Dazzle. I know I'm including some of that video in here, but I'll show you what I mean two videos from now. And number three, this thing can be a little bit crashy. If like it can cause blue screens, it can be a little bit unstable. But for the most part, it's a fairly good, great, decent uh, movie editor. If you choose to buy it separately from a uh, separate from Dazzle, so overall, it's a great movie maker. Could use some improvements, and none. I'll see you guys later.